Kevin Newton here with the head coach of D-League Select Conor Mendo. Tough game tonight. Where you guys played hard at the lead for most of the game. Got away from the What do you take away from this game? I'm checking on the guys. We clearly were dictating the pressure. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if he wants to know. And the tempo of the game. Morning, uh, morning, uh, morning, 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 we didn't execute out of the time. That's the most frustrating thing to me because that's where their momentum got started. Um, and then we um, they sped us up and we couldn't contain Russ off the on ball a lot during the night. He hurt us so um, disappointing for us. But look, we don't have to be good right now. You know, we have to be good in five days. You know, and so first time uh, with the group for the most part, I'm, I'm pleased. Other than we lost. Still a couple more games before the tournament portion of the, the summer league begins. Now, kind of the D-League has, has this calling card at D-League Select, that summer league, that they're the team that kind of wants to win the most as a team because they kind of feel like maybe they have that extra edge, have a little more to prove than anyone else here. Uh, is that the feeling you get with this team? Well, I, I've always been, my, my thinking's always been, well, why do you play the game if you're not trying to win? whether it's the, the Pelicans or the select team or, or anybody else. Um, I know they wanted to win. You know, I know we wanted to win just because it says select. You know, I've got guys on the select team that probably should be on NBA rosters. You know? And uh, they just play their, they play their hearts out, and, uh, like every other team. Now, you don't have a whole lot of time to get these guys prepped for game one. What do you, gotta, what do you try to implement in practice with the short amount of time you have? Well, sharing the ball. Um, it's, a, it's the biggest thing uh, when you put a, a group of guys together very, very quickly. Um, they all like each other. Uh, we've had a good time so far. Practices have been uh, light but crisp. Um, and they're trying to make the extra pass and, and, and keep their teammates involved. So um, we ran out of gas a little bit down the stretch. A couple more things, Coach. You have a couple of your former players on your team with like Ron Howard and Tony Mitchell. What's it been like to coach them here on D-League Select as well? They're, they're my guys. They've been great. You know, we, uh, we had an unbelievable season this year where we had a group of guys that never quit and um, seemed to always have one more run in us or one more stop, and, and that got us the championship. So um, they both were added late. Um, they kind of strung me along, uh, but I always knew that the last two spots, if I needed them, I could get them. And, um, Tony played really well in a couple of mini camps, so did Ron, and so I knew that they would be in good shape and rested. Um, it's great. I love those guys. They're, they're just great to have on the team. Lastly, Coach, what do you take away from this game and try to apply to your Sunday contest? Well, well, we've got to handle the pressure a little bit better, uh, contain the on ball a little bit better. You know, if we if we come up against another Russ Smith, um, uh, how we're going to contain him. So we'll watch a little film and uh, and try to just execute a little bit better on both ends of the floor. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. You got it. Thank you.